there is one law that that would cover everybody, as opposed to having, you know, for instance, we had the state bank law. Yeah. The state bank has a def definitive agreement, which is almost the same as to this one that the UDP was presenting, and then trying to make. Um, I don't know. I still can't understand what is the issue with our government because the definitive agreement. We did, we did nothing. We did not accept it. We said, you know, we, we if it's best that we try to to come up with something different, and we believe that this, this is the answer. Here's a follow-up question. <clears throat> Two hundred and fifty million U.S. dollars is the equivalent of a half a billion Belize dollars, right. right? So the natural question is, do we have any project? of that scale, of that magnitude that's being undertaken in Belize, yes. or perhaps if $250 million seems a bit too high a threshold. Well, that is the idea, because you only want to do it for these big, large-scale investments that are needed. When you look at the issue of a, um, a cruise port, mm -hmm. any cruise port that is built in Belize is going to cost over $250 million mm -hmm. um, US. And the big part of it is because of the dredging that has to be done. We have the Four Seasons right now. They're building the Four Seasons at um, Key in right? Key Chapel, and that investment is going to be about about 400 million US dollars. They're wow. investing in there, and it's not only the hotel, but uh, several um, very upscale homes that are being built for for different people that have already purchased their pieces of land, their, their parcel of land to be able to develop.